Hello, welcome back to the South of Walls. I'm Ashley, and here today I am going to be talking about all the books that I read in the month of May. It was a fantastic reading month, and I can't wait to share all of them. As always, pull up your favorite drink. Today I have an iced chai latte and it's very good. Um, so I'm going to take a sip before we get into some of these books. The first book that I have to talk about is The House on the Cerulean Sea. Absolutely loved it. This is my first TJ Klune book and as you can see right there, I have already picked up another one. I loved this sweet world that we were introduced to and I've heard that very much so his writing is all like this so I cannot wait to continue with it. Absolute five star read. This is exactly what I needed to carry over from April for May and it was perfect. My next book that I read was The Love of My Life by Rosie Walsh. I give this one about a 3.5. I did overall enjoy it. There's some great um, family drama that goes into this book. It just felt a little at times that this book didn't know what it was. Um, is it family drama? Is it thriller? Is it mystery? Uh, but it all kind of ties together in the end. And I did overall enjoy it. It felt a little bit long at times as well. Like, nothing had really happened but I am glad that I read it and um, I enjoyed it. My next book was Wayward by Amelia Hart. I can see why a lot of people are really enjoying this. First of all the cover, beautiful. And I overall I really did enjoy this book. I also feel like there was so many portraits of men in this book that they were horrible. Like, almost every single male that you come into in this book is abusive and extremely hateful, um, all except for one male. And that's it in the entire book. Every other male that you encounter is awful. But I overall, I did enjoy this book. It's kind of magical realism um, and things like that. And so it was a good read and I'm glad that I picked it up. My next book was Go is a River by Shelley Reed. This was Megan's book club pick over on Instagram. And I am so glad that I picked up this book. It is historical fiction set in the 1960s following Victoria Nash as she is coming of age and there's quite a bit of self-discovery, there's quite a bit of racism, um, and overcoming all of that. I really, really enjoyed this book. Five stars. My next book, I did a whole vlog about it, so I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot, but that was Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Absolutely loved it. Um, it was a little bit YA. But that was fine because it made up for it in so many other ways. Again, love everything about this book from the outside to the inside. Cannot wait for book two to come out in November. My next book was Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. This is another very family-driven plot uh, with family secrets that all come out. And I thought it was really, really good. Uh, it did not come out and automatically you knew who all the characters were. There were definite times where you didn't really know how this character tied into it. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely was looking at recipes to make black cake. Sounds so yummy. Um, and so I am really glad that I read this. It was a solid four star read. All right, my next book, it, it took way too long to listen to on audio. Finally, I was sad enough. I'm not dragging this to another month. 
And so I finished Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I really, I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it more than Sense and Sensibility, which I read earlier this year. If you haven't seen, my goal is to read all of Jane Austen's books this year. I did overall enjoy it a whole lot more. There are more in-depth parts than, say, the, I don't know, early 2000 movie of this. I think I like the movie more. <laughs> um, I mean, I love the movie. So, but I am really, really glad that I read this. And at the end of the year, I am hoping to have all the rest of her books done. And I will rank them all then. I'm not giving them ratings right now, though. My next book is just a little short story that I had here from one of my favorite go-to authors. This is Galatea by Madeline Miller. It is a tiny little book. I read this in one evening, um, and then I think I picked up the other book that I was reading and kept going. I loved it. Um, I love any of her books. You can see them behind me there. She has a way of writing these beautiful um, stories from ancient Greece or anywhere else um, that I just, I love. So I'm super glad that I picked this up. My last book that I finished in the month of May was Mirror Girls by Kelly McWilliams. This was a book club pick for one of my in-person book clubs. This is pretty middle grade to YA, uh, but I am really glad that I picked it up. It follows two sisters that are separated. One is raised as a white girl living in the South on a plantation, and the other is raised in Harlem uh, as a black girl. Then things come together where the black girl is brought back down. They have no idea that the other one even exists. It is during the Civil Rights Movement, so you can imagine the energy in the South at that time. It does have magical realism. Overall, I enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I, it's not written for me. I am not one to pick up a lot of middle grade or YA books on my own and read it, but it was a three and a half star book and I really, I, the plot was good, um, everything like that. Let me see if I can hold all of these books up. I am really happy and proud of all the books that I read. I. As I'm recording this, I am in the month of June, and it's just starting with feeling a little bit slumpy. But here are the books that I read in May. So uh, some of these will be going onto my shelf. Some of these I will put aside and uh, take to my favorite used bookstore. As always, if you like these types of videos or homeschool content or anything like that, I promise I do have a homeschool content video coming really soon. It's just been really book heavy lately as we are kind of winding down our homeschool year. I do have one coming either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure to subscribe and like below and I will be back for more videos soon.